All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond at this hour. We're buoyed by the optimism of this news of the possibility of a vaccine coming sometime soon. And also on the back of the better than expected results that were shown, the Indian markets have risen for an eighth straight trading session this morning, hitting record highs. The Nifty 50 index rose by about 0.79% to reach a high of 12,729 while the BSE Sensex gained about 0.72%, rising up to almost 43,591. The Indian markets are tracking their Asian peers as the investors continue to ride the positive sentiment from the news of a highly a successful vaccine trial and also Joe Biden's US electoral victory. And amongst the global stock markets, the MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan rose by about 0.4%, while Japan's Nikkei was also up by about 1%. Now, to give us more insights in terms of what is actually happening with the Indian markets, which have been scaling new heights each session, we are joined in by our business editor, Sumit Chaturvedi, who is joining us live on this broadcast. Good morning to you, Sumit. The Indian markets seem like there is no other day that is coming up because they are, they've been trading and they're tracking from one high to another. What's happening? Uh, well, Saleh, remember, uh, this is Diwali week, so clearly it's the most auspicious time to buy and sell stocks as considered by many traders. So as we head into Diwali season, yes, there is positivity, but it's backed by the real positive news that came day before yesterday that Pfizer's vaccine against coronavirus is 90% effective. Well, that can give a big boost to U.S. markets, and the rub-off effect was visible in other global markets, and ultimately it came to India. So Indian markets today are up for 8th straight session. Uh, Sensex is uh, moving towards 44,000 mark. It's, it's now above 43,500 mark. Nifty is also at record high levels. So both markets are cheering the news of the vaccine coming, a possible vaccine coming. Also, the U.S. elections, there's a stability there. It's clear that Biden, Joe Biden is going to be the next US, U.S. president. So there will be less of regulation there. There will be more. There could be more for U.S overall uh, economy as a stimulus is concerned. So banking all these positive news was clearly there's a, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a reason for Indian markets to cheer all these news. And yes, it happens to be a Diwali, a Diwali week when the sentiment is clearly up as far as the buying is concerned. So all of those, that news is, is making the markets touch new highs, scaling new highs for eight stage session. They, have, oh, they are going up and up. They have opened in green and it's likely that they will maintain the levels, uh, the high levels today as well. Absolutely indeed, Samit. Now, you've been tracking the markets very closely for the last several years. Now, try to help us understand the dynamic as to how the markets actually are working. Yes, there is news that there could be a vaccine sometime uh, close by on the horizon. But the fact of the matter is coronavirus is not gone. Europe is in the grip of a second wave of COVID-19 infections. There are lots of nations in Europe who are looking at the possibility of another lockdowns, long protracted lockdowns. And even the United States, with Joe Biden coming in, it's quite possible that he's going to be, unlike Donald Trump, very careful in, in terms of limiting the spread of the COVID-19 infections. That could mean more lockdowns, which could be expected. With that being the case, are we looking at this optimism that is, that is presently, that may not last for a very long time? Well, if we talk about COVID-19 news, Saleh, well, a lot of... Uh Pessimism has already been taken into account. Remember, it's, it's almost eight months from the time when the lockdowns globally were implemented. So lo the, a, a majority of that the negative news was already taken into account. And this time, well, some sectors are really doing very well as far as markets are concerned, including travel stocks, airline stocks, tourism stocks. So these were waiting for, for, for a long time that some optimism comes to these sectors. And yes, the optimism has finally come. As far as COVID-19 is concerned, EU has taken a number of steps, but US, it's not going to go into lockdown. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it's going to go into lockdown anytime soon. India is also not going to go into lockdown. It's quite likely now. So based on these optimism, well, there, there is optimism in the market, optimism in the market, and investors are lapping up shares. Absolutely indeed. And just before we let you go, Sumit, you said that this, of course, is the big Diwali week. And that is also one of the reasons for the optimism. The question that I want to ask you, something that would be on the minds of a lot of traders is, is it now a good time to buy or is it now a good time to sell and cash in on the gains that have been made so far? Uh, that's a, it's a, it's a difficult 
a call and every individual can take a call ba based on his experience but yes it's never a good time to buy something when the when when it's at its peak it's good to sell that's that's uh, the basic golden rule of investment as it goes so yeah it's it could be a good time to sell stocks and buy if you may if you want to of certain sectors if you they they, they are your favorite you can definitely dip into some stocks but as they are at high, well, there's no point buying at this moment. Absolutely, indeed. We are indeed at a touching distance from the 44,000 mark. That's, that's how far Sensex has risen. Thank you very much indeed. Sumit Chitravedi. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.